Good morning, good morning, good morning, my brothers and sisters. Welcome to Daily Fresh Manna. We continue with our theme for February, Arise and Shine and Do Not Look Back. Our message for today is Arise, let all of your ways be established and keep your eyes straight. Hallelujah. Keep your eyes straight. Our Scripture is found in Proverbs chapter 4, verses 25 to 27, and Proverbs 14, verse 12. Let us get started. Arise, let all of your ways be established, and keep your eyes straight. The scripture is Proverbs 4, 25 to 27. Let your eyes look straight ahead, and your eyelids look right before you. Ponder the path of your feet, and let all of your ways be established. Do not turn to the right or the left, and remove your foot from evil. Let's read that in the NLT. Look straight ahead and fix your eyes on what lies before you. Mark out a straight path for your feet and stay on the safe path. Don't get sidetracked, but keep your feet from following evil. This verse in Proverbs highlights the importance of maintaining a focused and forward-looking perspective, but staying on the right path, avoiding distractions and evil. Believers can walk in wisdom and faithfulness. Our hearts are feeling of love and desire dictate because of these feelings that we have, these emotions that we have. A lot of times our emotions are, are dictates a great extent to how we are going to live because we always find time to do what we enjoy doing, right? Okay. But Solomon tells us, to guard our hearts above all else, making sure that we concentrate, we, we concentrate on those desires that will keep us on the right path. We have to make sure that our affections lead us in the right direction. Put boundaries on our desires. Don't go after everything we see. Look straight ahead. Keep our eyes fixed on our goal and don't get sidetracked or detoured that lead to sin. A tentative hearing of the word is a good sign of a work of grace beginning in our heart and a good means of carrying it on. There is in the word of God a proper remedy for all diseases of the soul. Keep thy heart with all diligence. We must set a strict guard upon our souls. Keep our hearts from doing hurt and getting hurt. A good reason is given because out of it are the issues of life. Above all, we should seek from the Lord Jesus Christ that living water, that sanctifying spirit issuing forth unto everlasting life. Thus, we shall be enabled to put away a foul mouth and the perverse lips. Our eyes will be turned from beholding vanity, looking straight forward, and walking by the rule of God's word, treading in the steps of our Lord and Master. Lord, Forgive the past and enable us to follow thee more closely, for the time is come. Praise God. In Proverbs fourteen twelve it says, Now there is a, a way of life that looks harmless enough. Look again, and it leads straight to hell. Sure, those people appear to be having a good time, but all that laughter will end up in heartbreak. That's Proverbs fourteen twelve. The path that seems right may offer many options and require few sacrifices. Easy choices, however, should make us take a second look. Is this solution attractive because it allows me to be lazy, because it doesn't ask me to change my lifestyle, because it requires no moral restraints? The right choice often requires hard work and self-sacrifice. Don't be enticed by apparent shortcuts that seem right but end up in death. The ways of carelessness, of worldliness, and of sensuality seem right to those that walk in them, but self-deceivers prove to be self-destroyers. 
There is a way which seems right unto a man, as the way of sin and wickedness does, is promising much carnal pleasure. There is a great deal of company in it, and it is a broad road, and is pleasant and seems right, but it leads to destruction. So the way of the hypocrite and the Pharisees that trust to his own righteousness and despises others and even the righteousness of Christ, or however does not submit to it, but tramples upon him and counts the blood of the covenant of unholy things and so is deserving of the worse punishment than the profane sinner. Yet on account of his good works, as he calls them, he fancies himself to be in a fair way for heaven and happiness through the lying, lying miracles of the priests and their air of devotion that appears in them seems to be the right way, but the end thereof is the ways of death, which leads to eternal death, for that is the wages of sin, and we know that right well. Lord, help us to look straight ahead and fix our eyes on what lies before us. May the Holy Spirit mark out a straight path for our feet and stay on the safe path. Keep us on that safe path. May the Holy Spirit keep us from getting sidetracked and keep our feet from following evil. As it says in Proverbs 14, 12, Lord, we ask that the Holy Spirit will mold us to make the right choices and self-sacrifices to stay on the narrow path for life eternal. In Jesus Christ's name, let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you that you are the God of the entire universe. And we recognize that your plan for us is a good plan. Your word declares, Heavenly Father, in Jeremiah 29, 11, that you know the plans that you have for us, and they are plans of good and not of evil. So we declare, O oh Lord God, that we would move forward as the Holy Spirit continue to lead us and to guide us, Father, on the straight and narrow path. We refuse to look back. We refuse to succumb, Heavenly Father, to being distracted and lose our focus. O oh Lord, our God, keep us on the straight path of righteousness for thy name's sake. We refuse to become bitter people. We have considered Lot's wife, and we have chosen not to emulate her folly. Everything good for our life is ahead of us and not behind us. We will look unto you, Father, because you are the author and the finisher of our faith. We will gaze, O Lord God, upon your face and move forward in our destiny. O Lord God, may we choose to let go of all hurts and disappointments and regrets in the name of Jesus Christ. And may we freely forgive all of those that have hurt and wounded us as we act, O oh Lord God, in our hearts and souls with the love of thee, O oh God, with the compassion of thee, O oh God, with the forgiveness of thee, O oh Lord God, in our hearts and in our souls. Heal our hearts and souls that we, O oh Lord God, shall surely be the children of God, and we will walk on that straight and narrow path. Keep our feet straight. Keep our eyes focused. Keep our eyes straight in front of us, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. We thank you, Lord God, for the bright and flourishing future which you have set before us today. We will not look back. We will never be afraid, and we will never rehearse the past. Oh, Lord God, we thank you for the wonderful future that you have for us in Christ Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, that we are more than conquerors. We thank you for the victory that we have won through the blood of Jesus Christ our Lord. He gives us victory, and we thank you, and we give you glory, honor, and all praise. You alone, Father God, our Lord God Almighty, you are the most high God. You are, Heavenly Father, Lord and Master. You are, Heavenly Father, Lord Jehovah. You are the Lord that is our banner. Hallelujah. You are the Lord, our shepherd. You are the Lord that heals. You are the Lord that is there in every situation that we have in our lives. 
You are the Lord that is our righteousness, for Christ became righteousness for us. You are the Lord who sanctifies us and cleanses us by your Holy Spirit. You are the everlasting God. And you are the Lord, hallelujah, that is God. You, Father God, are the Lord that shall provide. You are the Lord that is peace. And you are the Lord of hosts. Bless us, O Lord God, this day. Lead us, Father, in the path of righteousness for thy name's sake. O Lord God, we thank you and keep us covered in the blood of Jesus Christ. And we thank you, Lord, for healing us of whatever our need may be in body, physically, in our soul, where our mind, our will, and our emotions are. Oh, Lord God, we thank you for healing. We thank you, Lord God, for placing your love on the inside. Oh, Lord, your compassion on the inside. All of that comes, Father, from the indwelling Holy Holy Spirit. And we thank you and we bless your holy name. Be with us, O Lord God, today and forevermore. And we thank you, Lord, in Jesus Christ's name for an opportunity, O Lord God, as we have read the scripture today, to stay on the Holy Spirit, to help us to stay on the right path, on on the straight and narrow path, and keep our eyes straight. We thank you, Lord, in Jesus Christ's name, for you are Lord of lords and you are King of all kings. And we say amen. Amen and amen. To God be all glory, honor, and praise. God bless you today, and we'll be in touch tomorrow. God bless you. Remember, arise and shine. Don't look back. And remember, arise. Let all of your ways be established, and keep your eyes straight, brothers and sisters. Keep your eyes straight. God bless you. Bye-bye now.